What up, y'all? What's going on? What's up? Mindset and Muscle, yo, episode number four. He's hungry. <laughs> What's for lunch? I already had it, my man, but I got a cat right in the next <laughs> room if you're, if, you're, if you're that hungry. Uh -huh. So we need a good, like, I need, like, a good intro, like, a good, like, Mindset and Muscle intro, yeah. like, we go, like, Muscle, Mindset, push, and then have some, like, dope graphics and shit. Some effects, yeah. oh, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> okay. Awesome. What's this? Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, that's the weird thing about Facebook Live, but... Um, so my poster is backwards, right? I, this, <laughs> yeah. Vistaprint, they just fucked me over, so, but I got a discount, so, um, nah. Still um, if you want to see the correct version, watch the HD. For some reason, I don't know why, but Facebook Lives, they do, like, a mirror image, so it, it's, uh, it's gonna be backwards for ya. Anyways, if you're wondering what it says, it says bod transformation behind us, and, uh, that's what we're gonna be talking about. Changing the brain, changing the bod. You. <laughs> Awesome. So, this is episode number four. I'm with my man Arya Torab over here. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure Thank to be you. here. My, my pleasure. And I'm super excited to get on the road with this, this interview. It's going to be rad. I'm super excited. Yeah. Um, Ar Arya is a good friend of mine, and him and I had gone through a leadership program together, and that's how we met. And uh, today we're going to be talking about some mindset and muscle stuff and digging in deep to the brain yeah. and deep into those muscle fibers. Yeah. Hell yeah. So um, I want to start off with my first first question, just kind of like a little icebreaker for you, Arya. What's what's your favorite thing about yourself? My favorite thing, um, you know, it's it's my ability to really connect with people. I think uh, being very personable, being very authentic, being very genuine, really allows me to to see and to to hear people in a way that um, that allows me to get to know them as as really as an individual of who they are and what they represent and really what they want and. Um, you know, just seeing people for who they are, mm. you know, and and the the amazingness that they are. Hell yeah! So connecting and seeing yeah, that like, very important for me. Very yeah. important for me. I love that. Um, and then just the next kind of like segue question is just tell us what you're what you're doing with your occupation life. Yeah, so I'm uh, an events coordinator and manager for a circuit training facility, uh, Circuit Works, which is not too far uh, down the road from here. And um, really, how I ended up getting into the field was. Uh, embracing bettering myself in, in all aspects and a lot of that comes from um, you know strengthening your mind strengthening your body and all of it kind of aligning all uh, at the same time and uh, and I love it mm. seeing the transformation that a lot of uh, the clients come in having a goal in mind and really pushing themselves and really challenging themselves is uh, is really fascinating to be around and that's why I ended up doing what I'm doing because you know the clients come in I, I I'm able to have that connection with them and, and really get to know them and what they want and what they want to accomplish and, and help them get there. Hell yeah. You know? I love that. So yeah, just bringing it back to that connection. You you see yeah. the highest in them and then you saw the highest in yourself and yeah. kind of took you down that path. Yeah. Um, also guys, if you have any questions, post them on there. I'll do my best to see if I can, uh, <laughs> what's up Imran, uh, if I can see um, what the questions are. Also, dude, we're a community. Like introduce yourself, say what's up to Please. someone. Um, you know, uh, chit chat. You know, you can talk shit about us. It's all, it's all fair game. We will, we welcome it. Yes, and we will not take it personally. Nope. So, um, say whatever you want if you need to get it off your chest. All right, cool. So we're running right into our next question. Um, basically, the first one is uh, we kind of already touched on this, but if you want to dig a little deeper, how did you? What like really inspired you to get into fitness or the, this this occupation? Yeah, so I have a little bit of an interesting story when it comes to this. I used to be 242 pounds at my heaviest, and I've kind of been heavy set pretty much the majority of my life, and, and a lot of it came with the lack of understanding what fitness was and mm -hmm. what nutrition is and how important that is. And how I ended up coming into this field is really transforming myself mm -hmm. and the impact it had on who I saw myself to be, um, how I carried myself off in public, and how I you know, really were interacting with people and what the limiting behaviors I was really uh, being controlled by with my physical appearance. So, you know, I, I'm down to 175-ish, mm -hmm. fluctuate every, you know, five pounds or so. Um, but that's really how I came to, to be in this field is um, that personal connection with self and, and really being on my own transformation mm -hmm. of physical appearance. That's huge. And, uh, you know, I actually lost it the first time in about four or five months just because I thought working out 
is it's an algorithm. Mm -hmm. Just work out a lot and don't eat. Mm -hmm. And I come to realize that <laughs> that doesn't work. Sustainability. Yeah, you can't sustain that. Yeah. Long. You know, when I started eating like a normal human being, I gained all of it back, and so I had to learn. Had that opportunity to grow and really expand my knowledge of what nutrition mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. in order to do it safely and productively and to, to sustain it long term. Awesome, I love it. Yeah, similar story as you know, most of you guys know that my background is uh, on the other side of the tracks mentally and just deteriorating my body and mind. And then, um, you know, I had a rock bottom and then shifted everything and um, focused on myself and my body and, you know, treating it like the temple that it is. So, um, the next question is, let's see, um, what, what is, tell us what's the next level for you with your business or work or life or whatever. Yeah. You know, I think, um, that's always the, the, the grand question, right? What's next? Mm -hmm. What's next? What's, uh, what's that thing you want to accomplish after you've done whatever you've done? And for me, it's to take that progression of connectivity and transformation uh, not only within your inner self, but also physically. And, and for me, it's to be a trainer. Uh, for me, it's to eventually have my own gym um, and to really continue inspiring people to, to really dedicate themselves to what it is that they want. And you know, in this area, at least this is one aspect where they can really tap into themselves um, and really create things that mm. they want for themselves. Awesome. And to be that kind of vehicle and that inspiration and that source of empowerment to, to really uh, create that space for people to, to, to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think a lot of times that people that come into you know, uh, gyms or that hire trainers or whatever the case is, real, some of them know what to do, they just aren't able to do it. And I think having somebody that, that really encourages them and maybe Relates. holds them responsible yeah. and, and really connects with them on that level mm. is that little extra incentive or push to get them to that next yeah, level. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Like holding the space, being like encouraging and, and just having someone that actually cares. Yeah, like genuinely. huge, yeah. huge, huge. Um, who is that? What a, oh, Serafina, what's up? And I Alex Lou. really Lou. bad eye vision, so. <laughs> Alex Lou in yeah. the house. What's up, what's Alex? What's up, man? Um, cool. Awesome. So jumping right in. So we're going to go ahead and talk about some exercise stuff. So nice. we already covered like why, um, you exercise, what, what got you started. Yeah. Um, but I want to know like, what's your primary workout and then, and also why? Yeah. So for me, you know, everyone has their own niche, right? Everyone mm -hmm. has a system of, of what works for them. For me, um, I like to keep it interesting, but what I found that really works for me is uh, circuit training mm -hmm. is uh, interval training, high intensity, super efficient, go, 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 uh, fluctuating between anaerobic, anaerobic, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. uh, and really just keeping the heart rate up and down, up and down. Um, and for me, it's fun. I love group fitness. Mm -hmm. You know, I think um, uh, personal training has its own um, uh, benefits to it, right? Being connected, really getting to know people, but there is something so special about being in a group environment where everyone's trying to better themselves, where the music is blasting, mm -hmm. energy's Energy, high, people start dancing in between their <laughs> sets and stuff like that, and yeah. it just keeps going. So for me, um, uh, you know, interval training, it's where it's at. And, and granted, like, I love weight training. You know, I love, um, um, you know, we did a special event not too long ago mm -hmm. on the beach, which yeah, was that's right. glow amazing. The dark, yeah, the glow workout. If you haven't done it, do yourself a favor, set time, be dedicated, come in and do it. It's, it's really, it's fun. It's rad. Yeah. And, uh, you know, to keep things interesting, because you, you have to shock your body, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Muscle memory is a thing, and, and sometimes it gets a little stale, but high interval training, man, it's, uh, it's fun. Yeah. Especially with a group of people. And, and it makes fun. sense, too. Like, even, you know, my kind of theory behind everything is, like, you know, you exhaust one part or organ of your yeah. body while the other recovers, so you're just multitasking and just yeah. trying to get as much as you can out of the time that you're there, yeah. you know? And efficiency, of course. Who else we got on here? Um... Ah, uh, Joe, we got all, you guys, aren't you, what are you doing? Aren't you getting prepped for tonight? <laughs> Jesus. All right, what are all these guys? I like the do? commitment, though. Thank you for the support. And don't, doesn't anyone work? Yeah, I know. Oh, all right, cool. Like so. Good day right now. Yeah, seriously. Um, awesome. So our next question is, um, let's see. Um, what do you feel, what do you feel is, is the best time to exercise? Ooh. Morning, midday, evening. For me, it's for me, it's morning. Mm -hmm. For me, it's morning. I, I am a, a kind of a night owl. I, I tend to stay up a little bit later. Mornings aren't 
uh, so much like waking up and, and go for me. Uh, and I've tried nights and they don't necessarily work. I think for me, mornings are great because you get into the routine of starting the day, mm -hmm. moving your body, getting the blood flowing, um, and, and really, and really sets the tone, at least for me. Yeah. Like waking up and, and just burning it out and, and you know, that energy that I get from doing that kind of carries out the rest mm -hmm. of the day. Yeah, or, or uh, if that doesn't work for you, just whenever you're <laughs> able to get yourself out and to- Yeah, well, it. at the end of the day, whenever you can do it, do it, you know? Yeah. All right, so our next question here is, um, what uh, what suggestions do you have for someone who uh, like wants to start a workout or a routine or hasn't done it yet, like hasn't gotten concrete on what they want? Yeah, you know, for me, um, find something that you like. I think the hardest thing is that people, well, what I've heard commonly mm -hmm. is that people pay for a membership and they think, well, now that I'm paying for it, I'm going to start doing it, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I used to use that quite often, so I'm, I'm guilty of that as well, but I never really liked just going to the gym, and for me, that wasn't something that, that really inspired me or motivated me to do it, and even though I was paying for it, there was something that wasn't working, so mm -hmm. I wasn't creating results, and, you know, I, I think what I would say is be open to trying things, be open to new experiences. And if it's working out in the gym, if that's what you love, awesome. If it's the wilderness, go on a hike and do some exercises while you're, you know, hit the top peak or whatever. Mm -hmm. For me, it's really finding what what gets you excited. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shop around, you know, find out, yeah. yeah, find out what works. And the other thing is like, um, is I didn't even realize that I liked to work out with music until I yeah. started like, until I had my like first musical workout. And even then actually, like I think I did like a step class or something. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole nother video. Yeah, it was a disaster. And I had to leave actually, I had to excuse myself because I literally was like all over the place. But, um, and that like made me hate. I was like, I yeah. can't do this music synchronized multitasking shit. But then I did like a body pump class and I was like, this is rad. Yeah. So what's up, John? What's up, Dylan? Y'all, um, all right, cool. So we're, we're wrapping up in our exercise portion, but there's a couple more here I wanted to kind of get at. Um, Let's do it. So <laughs> this is a good one. This is a good oh, one. Great. What do you do when you don't want to exercise? Mm -hmm. You're just like, I don't want to. I don't feel like it. So I will say there is a difference between not wanting to do it and listening to your body. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good distinction. And it was a distinction that I really had to be honest with myself for. Yeah. Um, and so there are days where I don't want to do it because my body's telling me not to, which I should listen to it. You always listen to your body. Mm -hmm. But then there are days where you're really just like not feeling it. <laughs> yeah. And I always tap into what is it that I'm committed to. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes the days that I do take off, when I don't exercise or where I don't make that commitment, I end up feeling different. I end up feeling off. And I end up kind of like getting in my own, own head of like, dude, you should have gone because you knew you were going to feel bad afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Why didn't you just go? Yeah. And so for me, it's always tapping into that, that commitment of what, what do I want? Mm -hmm. right? And, and for me, it's, you know, one look a certain way, certain body percent fan, uh, percentage, you know, and, and, but really it also helps me internally. Yeah. I think, yeah, um, definitely. They really it fucks are. with you when you're sabotaging or saying no to things. Yeah, yeah, and it really and is a cascades parallel. It really is a parallel with with working out physically and emotionally, and and you know the days that I take off, um, I don't do it very often because mm -hmm. I am a man of routine, mm -hmm. so I do like my routine first and foremost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But more so than that is that I always feel a sense of gratification. Yeah. Afterwards, yeah. a sense of accomplishment. Hell yeah. You know, and even even if I'm not at 100%, because there are days where I just go just to show up, and that's okay. Yeah. Because every little bit counts. It's like the small victories yeah. make the biggest difference. You yeah. Know? And you get to practice self compassion too. It's like, you yeah. know, these are times, opportunities for us. Like, instead of like showing up and you're like, ah, I had the worst workout, it's like, no, you went and you yeah. did it. And yeah. you, every little bit counts and it adds up, you know, and you've stuck with your commitment to yourself and your, your life. So, huge. Huge. Um, all right. So, this is a great segue question. It's, uh, what is your, what is a, uh, or how does exercise affect your mindset? Which we already kind of like went into that a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Um, starts off the day right on a positive note, sense of accomplishment, right? It's those um, uh, starting the, the day on a positive on a positive note. Mm. And for me, what it does is uh, it de-stresses me. Mm -hmm. 
It really relaxes me. It gives me a lot of energy. And it really just gives me a lot of clarity. Mm. It yeah. really kind of grounds me into taking a moment, taking a breath, and after I've, I've done my workout, you know, I, it's like, okay, what's next? What do I get accomplished mm -hmm. next? And, you know, there is... It starts a, the ball rolling. Yeah, it really does. It really does mm -hmm. for me. And, and it's that kind of, what's next? Let's, get, let's accomplish something mm -hmm. next. What is the next thing that I'm going to defeat? Because I, the way I look at workouts... Because granted, like, working out is not enjoyable all the time. Mm -hmm. At least for me, I'm going to come from high. Yeah. Um, but it's that motivation of, I'm going to attack it and I'm going to defeat it. Yeah, I love that. I love I'm going to attack it and I'm going to defeat it. I love that. Um, awesome. All right, cool. So we're going to dig into the mindset now. And the first question is uh, really simple. It's just kind of like, tell us what your mindset is like currently. Currently? Yeah. What's your headspace like? Bring, bring us inside of you. Um... Wow, that is a deep question. <laughs> Where am I in mindset? You know, I'm I'm very I'm very at peace. I would say. Um, 2017 has been a, a, a breakthrough year mm -hmm. in so many ways, and um, you know, kind of doing the leadership program that we did, mm -hmm. it really uh, sh opened the doors for me to being able to create anything that I want, mm -hmm. and I'm. And I'm certainly capable of that. And, you know, with that perspective of anything is possible as long as I say it's possible, mm -hmm. really, the world is, is what I make of it. Hell yeah. And, and that's, I think, where my mindset is, is really honing in on what that means to me. And really being excited. Mm -hmm. Really being excited Bring about... passion. Yeah, about uh, what the opportunities have, you know, that, that lies in front of me that I'm not even aware of and things that I know and I'm anticipating, mm -hmm. which, is our, which is exciting. And I think for me, it's, it's where I am right now is my eyes are wide open mm -hmm. and my, my arm is open, my heart mm -hmm. is open and everything is just open to receive and, and to surrender and to all the experiences that are going to come my way. I love that. It's interesting. It's a good. This is a good analogy of like when you go to the gym and you have your headphones on, you're closed off in your own world. I mean, yeah. I love that too. I love working out with music, but you know, every now and then, it's good to unplug those headphones, you know, metaphorically, and just like see what's all around you in the world. Like if you go for a walk outside, you know, it's it's so interesting. Like the 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 energetic quality of your body when you're walking down the street and you're receptive and open and who's here and smiling and hey and how's it going versus if you're closed off and you got those headphones in. So. Just an invitation and a practice that you might want to um, explore. Absolutely. And, you know, I, I'm seeing things now that I've taken the same road to work each and every day. And I'm seeing things that I've never noticed before. Mm. Yeah, so true. It's like a, a, another thing is we do kind of have like a tunnel vision. But if you do, like you stare straight forward, you can see so much more if you really like, like activate your uh, just awareness of it all. So yeah, there's really interesting like energetic, um, you know, quantum physical, um, woo woo stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so um, next one is, uh, uh, why did you start working on your mindset? Because everything starts from there. Mm -hmm. Everything starts from there. If if you are imprisoned to your own world in your head, you're your own worst enemy, and that's something that I've come to really understand is that my I'm my own hardest critic. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes I assume that things are going to be worse than they are. And once I kind of let that to the side, things just started getting easier and better. Mm. And, you know, I, I think really developing self-growth, mm -hmm. right? And, and just gaining perspective and always constantly being in the question of, of discovery, mm -hmm. uh, which is something fascinating to me that I've learned this year in, in one of the courses that we took. Uh, always being the question of why. Curious, just walking around with curiosity. Yeah. You know, about others, about life. Because, yeah. and it was something that I think we even spoke about recently is the idea of like a child at a young age, right, is always on to the next thing, is embracing the moment. Each mm -hmm. and every moment has fun with it, discovers something that he or she doesn't know, mm -hmm. and then is on to the next thing. And, and, and is always like looking for the next thing that like excites them. It's always looking for the next thing that really is just, what is that? And it's intriguing and I want to look at it or I want to figure it out. And, mm. and that's where I am right now with, with 
that having that boyish wonder. Yeah. You know, and 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 really being curious about who I am at the end of the day, mm-hmm. and always being the constant of uh, figuring that out. Yeah. Because there is no definition, but I am who I choose to be each and every moment, yeah. as well. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. And and also it's like if you're not in that curiosity often I feel that you're just walking around projecting. Yeah. You're just projecting outcomes. Oh, if I do this, then that. If I do this, then that. And usually it's a negative one. It's like, yeah. if I talk to her, she's gonna like eat me or something. Or yeah. if I go and talk to these strangers over here, they're gonna uh, gang, yeah. gang, what do they call that? Gang jump you or whatever. And, and you know, I'm, I'm a victim to that. And I, and I was for the longest time. I am too, yeah. And having and that still, openness still. Yeah. at times. Yeah. I mean, you catch yourself, right? Yeah. But like, you know, I think where I am now in terms of my mindset is is really just being that openness, mm-hmm. yeah, right? and, and embracing whatever comes, yeah. and not being so attached to what things are supposed to look like, yeah, not being attached to doing things the right way yeah. or how the correct way means to you, and that there is beauty in spontaneity, and, and there's beauty in the mistakes too. Yeah, oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. absolutely. There was something else you were saying that kind of uh, struck a chord. It was uh, I was thinking. Um, uh, let me see if I can pull it out. It was something along the lines of, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, like, I, I have to question, and I have, like, a, I don't know why we have these certain inner dialogues or belief systems that run us often, but I, I walk around and I always have the, you know, it's an automatic where when I um, go to, like, a networking party, for example, I'm like, oh, I don't want to talk to them. Oh, they're already, I'm, I don't want to be, like, a weird intruder guy, but I'm, I have to tell myself, no, like, you're worth it. Like, they should be happy yeah. to, yeah. you have so much to offer. I have to remind myself that constantly. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I go into those situations, and, like, I, I just went on this, like, networking cruise, and it was amazing. I think I talked to almost every person on the boat. Like, I made a point. I was with a friend, and we're like, all right, we're gonna make a point. We're gonna talk to five groups of people, yeah. and we just went around, and it was phenomenal. And I just, you know, checked that little inner critic and told him to fuck off, and, <laughs> and then just went for good. it. Good, that's what you're supposed to do. Exactly. Um, so this is kind of like a, a, a good little backtrack for us. Um, so we said, why did you start working on your mindset, and like, what was there a specific event, or the other question that is uh, paired up with this is like, what was your mindset like ten to twenty years, ten to twenty years ago? Yeah. So, what was it that that got me to the realization? Like a rock bottom or a dark...